If you're watching this video, you're probably interested in how can note taking improve police interviews in less than a day. My name is Jonathan Kemp. I'm a human intelligence entrepreneur and the creator of Smart Wisdom, the next generation note taking and planning technique. I've been helping people manage knowledge and effect, uh, information effectively for the past 20 years. And also back in the day, I was a police officer here in the Met for 12 years. So one of the challenges that um, police officers we all face, you know, when doing interviews, whether it's a suspect interview or it's a <coughs> witness interview. And in fact, the more complex the interview, the more complex the case, um, the greater number of sort of moving parts, it becomes increasingly difficult to make sure that all the interviews are really thorough, that all the, that everything's been covered off, that all the gaps have been spotted. Because if we miss anything out or if we misunderstand anything, the implications can be huge. It means that an investigation could be drawn out much longer than it has to be, that the results that there should be, they're not coming in. And, you know, sometimes the implications, they're not even worth thinking about. So how can a simple note taking technique or make such a difference? And how can a technique that can be learned in less than a day make such a difference? And in fact, it's incredibly easy. And the reason is actually historical. Because the technique that everybody uses for taking notes is 2000 years old. It literally has not changed in 2000 years. And it's just a recording technique. You record what you hear now to be used later on. And we were all trained, stroke indoctrinated to use it at school, and we use it throughout that, uh, as our careers. The problem with that recording technique, the second you use it, bang, it puts a ceiling on our cognitive capabilities. And that's quite a strong statement to make, but that is the reality, because it's just a recording technique. So the more information you know, I get as a police investigator during a police interview, um, whether it's a suspect or a witness, the more information, the more complexity, the more volume, you know, if it goes on for an hour, two hours, three hours, one day, two days, just managing that sheer volume of information or the complexity is really tough. Because all I'm doing is writing down verbatim or part verbatim what they're saying, I'm not processing it. So the way to transform, literally transform police interviews is really so simple is switch from previous generation note-taking, note-taking techniques, which is what everyone's taught, to next generation note-taking techniques, where rather than just recording information, what you're actually doing is you're recording and using knowledge real time. So essentially, the technique you use for recording actually transforms the information you heard into knowledge, which is a deep understanding of that information and I'll explain how it works. And there are four key elements to next generation note taking, and I'll take you through step by step. But the magical thing is to increase two key percentages, percentage RTU and percentage GA, and I'll explain what those are a bit later on. So here is some information. Um, we need to find one quick technique to help police interviews increase their thoroughness and reduce gaps. Well, police interviewers. So here we go. Um, if I was to, the first part of the process is what I call uh, deep filtering. So removing any unnecessary information and drawing out what's just the important information, the important language, the important facts. So here I'd probably take out find one quick I'd probably take out technique. I know it's all about police interviews, so I probably wouldn't take that out. Increase thoroughness, I would. And the other key thing I want to do is reduce gaps. So that's the deep filtering. The next step is deep processing. So we split all that knowledge into single units and then reconnect it. Here we go. So it'd be find, one, quick, and I would do this as someone speaking. Uh, technique, I also abbreviate because that just speeds everything up. Um, increase uh, thoroughness. And reduce gaps. 
And I wouldn't abbreviate it any more than uh, I need to because I want to be able to return to this in months time, months time, and be able to get up back to speed really quickly. So the neat thing about doing this, you can literally go back to a set of interview notes in a year, two years time, and be back up to speed within about five or 10 seconds. And the reason being is that by breaking everything up and reconnecting it, you're driving up one of those percentages I talked about. What you're driving up is the percentage RTU, which is real time understanding. So cognitive neuroscientists have tested this and they say their findings was that someone, a detective um, who's, or a police officer who's using traditional longhand notes is their real time understanding going to be about 64% on complex issues. They switch to next generation note taking, it goes up to 76% within just two weeks. After a year, your real-time understanding goes up to 84%, and if you're dyslexic, it's 87%. So, cut a long story short, you can have a detective in a complex interview with either 64% understanding or 84% understanding. It's literally as simple as that. But myself, I use this all the time, and it literally transforms what I'm able to do. The other key percentage is this percentage GA and that's glance access. So it's all very well increasing my understanding but if I can't actually see the knowledge before me I'm having to rely on my short-term memory again which human beings it's limited it's seven plus or minus two chunks so for complex matters that's not good enough. Here I'm able to look at this at a glance and read it and speak and listen to someone at the same time. I can't do the same with that. And I can do that with an hour's worth of knowledge. Not only that, I can also see the major headings. I can also see where I've um, grouped information under, under subheadings. I can also see the key words people are doing and I can do, see all of that and link it. It helps to trigger questions, trigger ideas that just wouldn't have come up otherwise. To give you an idea of how powerful it is, that's an hour's worth of knowledge. And I can see that real time. So when I go out of the interview, I know that I know that A, that I've understood any, everything and B, there's hardly likely to be any gaps and C, it's a really thorough and deep analysis of what's happened. I tend to use an A5 book now. That's actually two hours. Well, it was more. It's two and a half, half hours worth of information. So what I would say is if, you've, uh, if you like what I've just said, then please press like, and obviously please feel free to start to use some of what I've shown you. If you want to come and learn more about Smart Wisdom, then you know, obviously just contact me. Feel free to put any comments in the comment box, and of course, please share with any you know, uh, detectives, uh, police officers, anybody in charge of police forces or investigation departments, either a local, national, or international level, please feel free to share this because this quite literally, for me, as a professional, makes the difference between night and day. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day. And oh yes, on the sides, at the top or down the bottom, I put some more tips on how to manage information more effectively. And it's free for you to download. Thank you.